What's up guys, Derek, more placemartaids.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about 3D delts. This is a commonly asked question on my channel and I've actually covered it before, but at this point I published so many videos that, you know, obviously not everyone's gonna use the search bar, not everyone is going to dig through my old content and that is uh, expected. So I just want to delve into really quick, a really commonly reoccurring question is, can you get 3D delts without taking gear? And the answer is, I think yes, however, I think it is largely going to be dependent on genetics as well as your androgen receptor density as well as your androgen production to begin with. But above and beyond that, you have to understand you are going to have severe limitations that a guy on Sazul is not going to have. So for example, circling back to me, do I think that I could have developed the exact same delts that I have now without that past uh, you know, trend bologna sandwiches. Probably not, in my opinion. I don't think they would have been the same. Now, I obviously have like a genetic strong point in that because they just chill like this, even on therapeutic replacement. And a lot of people don't believe that, but it's like, like realistically, the rest of my physique is pretty representative of therapeutic replacement. I more so have like disproportionately good body parts like deltoids, mostly. That's like my main thing. So, you know, for me, it's not only like, past trend bologna sandwiches, but it's like just genetic genetics. Like I literally do like nine to 12 sets for my delts per week. And frankly, I bet I could not even work them at all and just have my chest movements like indirectly hit them and still maintain the same size probably. So at the end of the day, you know, can you get them without gear? I think so. I just don't think they're gonna be so like disproportionate to the rest of you, which frankly is probably a good thing. If you want an aesthetic physique, you probably wanna have balanced body parts you don't want to just have a cannonball hanging off the side <laughs> hanging off the side of you now some people might think that's cool and whatnot but it's like ideally like i would love to have a more balanced physique with you know like a good chest and stuff like that but that's just that's just the cards i have been dealt but um yeah as a natural i think there are definitely examples they're more few and far between granted of naturals who have actual round looking you know 3d delts but they're there they're just not nearly as impressive as the guys that are saucy. So, you know, you, what can you do? Really just, you know, if it's a priority for you, then train them uh, with more priority. Allocate more of your weekly volume towards that body part that you're trying to uh, um, maximize. Cause that's, it's like, what else can you do? You know, you have whatever your androgens are that you're working with, plus however you're gonna allocate your weekly volume and recovery and, you know, diet and whatnot. Like, what are you trying to prioritize here? If you wanna build up your delts more and your, your genetic strong point is, I don't know, your arms, then maybe take some sets from your arms and allocate it more spread out throughout the week into a way that, you know, has you hitting your delts twice a week or something like that. Like have a dedicated delt day. Some guys just don't do that. They'll just have like, you know, their chest and their delt movements on the same day. Like maybe actually have a dedicated shoulder day if you actually want to work them to the extent that you, you know, you want to develop them as much as possible and they're lagging behind the rest of you. Like it just, you work within the constraints you're given. So allocate your weekly volume accordingly based on what you want to improve on and then obviously whatever kind of endocrine parameters you have to work with is what you're gonna have to work with and obviously trend bologna sandwiches are going to encourage more 3d development but at the end of the day it's not like it is uh it's not a mandatory thing in my opinion but it definitely does no one's going to lie and say it doesn't make any difference so i'm not encouraging you to do that by the way i'm just saying factually from what i can see I've seen evidence supporting the increased density of androgen receptors in the traps. And anecdotally, I think the same probably applies for the delts just by how disproportionately they seem to increase in size relative to certain uh, compound selection. So take from that what you will. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are some examples of uh, naturals or guys who are <laughs> presumably natural who have 3D delts? It would be uh, interesting to see some of the, uh, there's gotta be some good examples out there of guys with like solid delts who are natural, I would think. So, you know, drop them down there if you can think of them and uh, all the comments help the algorithm. So they're much appreciated when you guys drop them down below. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplaysmoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplays underscore more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, Bidju, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to listen on audio instead of burn through your data on YouTube, 
Definitely subscribe to the podcast, rate five stars if you want to help the algorithm there. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I am associated with in the video description below, my TRT clinic, as well as Gorilla Mind, Gorilla Mode, my nootropic and pre-workout formulas that I designed from scratch myself, and anything else I am associated with. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.